Hi friends, it's JJ and this is Travel Tuesday with JJ. As you can see by the title of the video, we are back in one of my favorite places, Mexico. We're back in Mexico and this time we're visiting Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. Puerto Vallarta is one of those places that will stick with you forever. Unlike beach destinations in the country that were built for tourism, Puerto Vallarta retains its roots as an authentic port town. Packed with history, culture, and the heart of the real Mexico. Puerto Vallarta is one of the only places to visit in Mexico where mountains meets jungle meets the sea. Puerto Vallarta is visually stunning. It's also got soul with plenty of things to see and do at any time of day. It's a rare example of a city where locals jive with tourists and expats, creating a unique medley of international flair. The city is split up into neighborhoods, also known as zones, with endless things to do in Puerto Vallarta spread out along the Banderas Bay and beyond. In reality, it doesn't really matter which part of the city you stay in because getting around is very easy. However, you would wanna choose your zone carefully based on the vibe that you want when you get there and the budget that you have in mind. Some of the most popular zones is Hotel Zone, which is just a few minutes drive from the airport. This area has many hotels, restaurants, malls, a Walmart, and even a Sam's Club. The next zone is Marina. It's more upscale than the Hotel Zone with Marriott Hotel, Westin, and much more. Old Puerto Vallarta, there are smaller homes. It's more of a residential area. The Melacon, which is the oceanfront promenade, runs in this area. Many restaurants and bars are located here as well. This area is on the north side of River Quale and offers affordable accommodations. Zona Romantica. Now this is the more livelier part of Puerto Vallarta. It's located on the south side of River Quale. You'll find numerous bars, cafes, restaurants, and Playa Los Muertos Beach, which is super popular. And last but not least, one of the last zones that I'll be hitting, and again, remember there's so much to do here, so much to see here. This is the tip of the iceberg, but it is Conchas Genus. So let's jump in to the 10 amazing things that you can do in Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. Number one on the list is super exciting. If you're looking for a mini Cirque du Soleil type cultural show and dinner experience, then Rhythm of the Night will be something you won't want to miss. The evening starts with a sunset cruise, which includes an open bar across the Banderas Bay to Las Caletas, which is a beautiful private cove. When you arrive, you'll be greeted by a beautifully lit area with tiki torches and candles. You'll then be shown to your seat an indoor auditorium, which is surrounded by palm trees. The seats are all staggered, so even though there are people sitting in front of you, you'll have no issue seeing the show. The show depicts various stories of ancient Hispanic civilization and Mexican folklore. During the performance, there's live music, dancing, contortionists, fire twirlers, and more. Following the show, you'll enjoy a large buffet dinner before returning to Puerto Vallarta by boat. If Puerto Vallarta could be boiled down to one snapshot, it would be its iconic Melecon. This mile-long walkway that hugs the coast takes you on a journey from Central down to Zona Romantica, or the Historic District. Along the way, you can take in the stunning views of the Bay of Banderas and the jungle-covered mountains. 
see the beautiful red tile roofs of downtown, stroll past many of the hottest restaurants, and view the city sculptures, beaches, and live street performances. The Melikon is also closed to vehicle traffic. That means this is the perfect spot to enjoy a stroll without having to deal with the busy traffic that whizzes along the narrow streets. Number three on the list will take you back in time and have you experience the very heart and soul of the original Puerto Vallarta. This is the Zona Romantica, also known as the Romantic Zone. The Zona Romantica is the city's historic district and is one of the most visually pleasing parts of the city. Cobblestone streets and alleys are flanked with historic buildings, each capped with the trademark red tile roofs. Purple bougainvillea blossoms arch over the sides of the streets, creating brilliant pops of color. The Zona Romantica begins at the bridge over the Rio Quale. Here you'll find the old farmer's market and some of the city's more popular beaches, restaurants, art galleries, and boutique hotels. It is also where the largest concentration of expats live, so you'll find it's very tourist friendly. The pier is one of the most important attractions in this part of the city, which you can grab a water taxi to many of the surrounding areas or hire a boat tour to take you around the bay for an incredible view of the city from the water. Number four on the list is Bay of Banderas. Puerto Vallarta thrives on its coastal location. Life revolves around the water, whether it's fishing, boating, or simply lying on the beach. One of the best ways to enjoy the city is to get out on the water. The Bay of Banderas, the body of water on which Puerto Vallarta sits, is one of the largest bays in the entire world. It's teeming with wildlife, from hawksbill turtles, octopus, whales, dolphins, and so many different kinds of fish. In fact, it's rare to be out on the bay and not have a dolphin or whale sighting. Several boat companies will take you out on the water for the afternoon, whether it's cruising around the Los Arcos Natural Monument, visiting the beaches only accessible by boat, like Yalepa or Las Animas, or a wildlife cruise. The day sailing on Banderas Bay explores the bay and allows a chance to go snorkeling and swimming. All equipment, as well as snacks and beverages, are included, which is awesome! Number five on the list, Murado Sierra de la Cruz. After you've seen Puerto Vallarta from the water, it's time to see it from the sky. Puerto Vallarta and Sierra de la Cruz Lookout is in a unique location. It's nestled between the sea and the mountains. The city climbs back up into the green carpeted hills, making for a picture perfect vantage point over the entire city. One of the best and best kept secrets by locals is the Sierra de la Cruz Lookout. Perched high above Centro, this lookout point offers a bird eye view over the entire city, the bay and north into Nuevo Vallarta and the hills of Punta Mita. Climbing is not for the faint of heart though, as it is a straight shot up, but the view is entirely worth it as the Red Roof City unfolds before you. In high season, a funicular is available, which operates between 6 a.m. and 10 p.m. The climb lasts anywhere from 15 to 40 minutes, depending on your level of fitness. Number six on the list, Yalapa. When it comes to beach destinations in Mexico, Puerto Vallarta is one of the most popular. With that said, it means it can often be difficult to find your own private stretch of sand. But that's where Yalapa comes in. It's one of the best kept secrets in all of Puerto Vallarta and one of the most beloved hideaways for locals. 
Yulapa is a quiet crescent of sandy beach just 20 miles south of Puerto Vallarta. What keeps it so low key? You can only get there by boat. You won't find chain restaurants or even mainstream hotels here. It's all about guest houses, small hotels, and a handful of Palapa style beach restaurants. Airbnb is alive and well here though, which can be attractive if you want to cook your own meals. But keep in mind that supermarkets are non-existent here. It's all about what you can score at the local market. But more often than not, you would be at one of the beach restaurants for deliciously fresh food, minus the price tags. We are now at number seven. Casa Kimberly. When Richard Burton came to Puerto Vallarta to star in John Huston's film, he fell in love with the city and decided to have a house here for himself. But that wasn't enough. He was in the throes of a tumultuous and scandalous relationship with Elizabeth Taylor and arranged for her to stay in a casita across the street from his, known as Casa Kimberly. Burton had a bridge built between the two casitas over the street as a way for the lovers to visit each other without having to wade through the flow of paparazzi. So messy, so lovely. <laughs> In 2010, the villa opened as a luxurious boutique hotel with its nine rooms decorated in the style that Taylor and Burton would have been familiar with. A pink marble heart-shaped tub in the central pool and the bridge have all been restored. The hotel's nine suites are decked out with sparkling chandeliers, luxurious bathrooms, wide patios, and private plunge pools all overlooking the roofs of the city. The restaurant, the Laguna, is one of the best in the city and has a killer view to boot. Number eight on the list, the hidden beach on Islas Moretius. Wildlife abounds in the government protected natural area. Islas Meretias is a group of uninhabited islands that sit out on the Bay of Banderas. That's off the coast of Puerto Vallarta and the neighboring state, Nayarit. The islands are protected from human access to preserve the native and rare wildlife species that live here. When it comes to visiting the islands, many options exist. You can book a tour with a local tour operator like Vallarta Adventures, which can arrange everything from snorkeling the islands to kayaking or paddleboarding around them. It's also a popular site for scuba diving. One of the best parts is the hidden beach that lives inside one of the islands. When the tide is just right, you can swim through the narrow channel and emerge into an open air cave that has a quiet, pristine beach hidden from public view. It's one of the more magical ways to experience Puerto Vallarta. Number nine on the list. We are almost to the end. This is a really, really nice day trip. It's not technically in Puerto Vallarta, but Sayulita is just over the border in the state of Nayarit but it makes a perfect and common day trip from Puerto Vallarta. The Bohemian surf town used to be a sleepy and geared towards backpackers and surfers, but recent discovery has morphed it into a cultural gem all its own, packed with small restaurants, boutiques, and galleries. Number 10 on the list, last but not least, the Vallarta Botanical Garden. Escape the fray of Puerto Vallarta's downtown with an excursion to the Jardin Botanical de Vallarta, known as Vallarta Botanical Garden. 
Here you will find a wide assortment of brilliantly colored wildflowers, including one of the most visited public collections of orchids in Mexico. Discover plants like cacao, agave, vanilla, cacti, and magnolias as well. It's also possible to see parrots and different species of hummingbirds. It's much more than gardens that you'll find here. Discover hiking trails, at a restaurant, and even a section of river that you can swim in. So you've made it to the end of the video, yay! Go ahead and comment down below the Mexican flag. If you think I missed anything, if there's anything in Puerto Vallarta, which I know there is, there's so much to pick from, please comment down below what are must-sees when you go to Puerto Vallarta. It helps more than you know. Also, if you guys are not a part of the family, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Also click the like button and make sure notifications are on always so you're notified every time I drop a video on Tuesdays. Thank you guys again for coming by. Check the entry requirements into Mexico prior going to Mexico. And above all else, be safe and have a wonderful time on your trip. Bye.